Like, do you need to hallucinate? Do you need the? Oh, that's a good one. That's a yeah, good one. because because like pharma, one thing pharma could give us is uh, psychedelic without hallucinations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm very excited to to find out. There's at this point really just preclinical data, uh, so we don't know the answer yet. And these this whole group of non hallucinogenic psychedelic analogs. Uh, which is the idea that you can have this sort of afterglow and flexibility without having a intense psychoactive experience. Uh, it's intriguing. I mean, of course, it's clinically of interest for anybody who can't tolerate a psychedelic or is not interested. Uh, and it's also, to me, scientifically of interest, just as a, frankly, as a tool to understand you know, sort of dissociate or differentiate, maybe dissociate is a fraught word, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, dissociate the acute drug effects from the lasting effects uh, to answer some important questions about what is causing the clinical benefit, you know? So I'm very excited. I think it, that's another thing that in the next year or two, you'll start to get some really good answers emerging. Yeah, I like that.